Flight 7 could happen sooner than anticipated. While NASA has previously revised the launch date for this mission, recent updates in permitting and SpaceX's impressive progress could change the expected timeline. When can we expect Starship Flight 7 to launch? And what implications does that have for future plans? Next, we'll explore the significant update NASA recently provided regarding the Artemis program timeline. There are a lot of important developments to cover, so let's get started with today's episode of NR Studio. Last month, we provided an update regarding the anticipated launch date for Starship Flight 7 with NASA documentation indicating January 11th as the projected timeline. This was in line with an initiative by NASA and the Australian Civil Aviation Safety Authority to coordinate aerial observations for Starship's re-entry. At that point, it was clear that the flight would take place early next year, much to the disappointment of those anticipating a launch before the end of 2024. Recent developments suggest that this timeline could be subject to change. On December 4th, the Federal Communications Commission, FCC, revised SpaceX's launch license for Flight 7, extending the launch window from December 14, 2024 to June 14, 2025. The update suggests the potential for a launch to occur before January 11, provided it occurs after December 14. Given the half-month window available in December, there's a decent chance of a launch within the year. FCC updates typically attract less scrutiny than FAA approvals. However, in this case, the FCC's decision is paramount. Under FAA guidelines, as long as there are no changes to the procedural aspects of the mission, the launch can proceed without additional review. Musk has recently hinted that SpaceX is ready to make another attempt at a controlled landing, while a super heavy catch test and in-space engine restart have been approved for Flight 6. Given that no substantial alterations are anticipated between the two flights, the FAA's impact on the timeline is marginal, thereby rendering the FCC's approval a pivotal element. SpaceX is swiftly advancing its efforts to prepare for a possible launch in December. Booster 14 successfully concluded its cryogenic testing and returned from Massey in early October. After a two-month interval, it is highly probable that it is now outfitted with engines and poised for final testing at the launch pad. The launch pad has predominantly been prepared for operational use since Flight 6, with only minor antenna-related complications persisting on the tower. On December 5th, the B-15 transport stand was successfully delivered to Mega Bay, while later that same day, B-14 was relocated to the entrance of the bay. Transport-related road closures were slated for December 5th and 6th, and it is probable that the booster has now reached the launch pad. The testing schedule denotes activities on December 7th, 9th, and 10th, implying that cryogenic and static fire tests are imminent. This will strategically position B-14 for subsequent integration testing with Ship 33 in the near future. Vessel 33 has achieved noteworthy advancements as well. It has been returned from Massey over a month prior, presumably following the completion of the engine installations. The vessel is slated to engage in static fire testing at Massey next week prior to its transport to the launch pad. Should these steps advance without interruptions, integration testing may take place in mid-December, facilitating a launch by month's end. Should SpaceX adhere to this schedule, flight the 7th of May take to the skies in the fourth week of December, signifying the fifth Starship flight of 2024. A launch scheduled for December 24th would not only create a remarkable Christmas Eve experience, but also signify an enhancement in turnaround efficiency, occurring a mere 35 days after Flight 6 on November 19th. This would exceed the 37-day interval observed between Flights 5 and 6, indicating a sustained advancement in launch frequency. The forthcoming mission is pivotal for the Starship program, as it entails an endeavor to capture the Super Heavy booster and execute a controlled vertical landing of the spacecraft. Achieving success would signify a substantial advancement thereby strategically positioning SpaceX for a bold 2024. Based on the results of Flight 7, SpaceX may either replicate analogous goals for Flight 8 in accordance with NASA's scheduled observations or advance directly to the retrieval of both stages. The development of hardware for forthcoming missions is progressing at a remarkable pace. Vessel 34 and Booster 15 are advancing with notable momentum. The construction of Ship 34 seems to be finalized and it is anticipated that testing will commence following the completion of Ship 33. Booster 15, which has been under construction since June, unveiled its concluding segment, the methane tank, in late August. 
This implies that its construction was finalized sometime prior and is currently poised for testing. Should all proceed as anticipated, Ship 34 and Booster the 15th of May take to the skies in unison in January 2025. SpaceX is targeting the establishment of a Starship refueling system by March, and should the current trajectory persist, an additional flight may occur in February subsequent to the January mission. Exhibiting stage capture during T flights would establish a robust groundwork for refueling capabilities, essential to SpaceX's long term objectives and its aim of achieving 25 launches by 2025. The forthcoming months are set to be crucial for the Starship program, characterized by accelerated hardware advancements, optimized testing protocols, and enhanced launch efficiencies, all contributing to a significant increase in activity. Regardless of whether Flight 7 occurs in December or early January, it will signify a significant milestone in space SS endeavor to transform the landscape of space travel. The prospect of a December launch injects a thrilling dynamic into the conclusion of the year. What are your forecasts regarding this event? I invite you to share your insights in the comments below, and please remember to like and subscribe for the latest updates on SpaceX's pioneering endeavors. The trajectory of space exploration is advancing with unprecedented swiftness. In the realm of space exploration, NASA has recently revealed yet another postponement in the timeline of the Artemis program. The previously anticipated launch dates of September 2025 and September 2026 are no longer current. The launch of Artemis II has been rescheduled to April 2026, whereas Artemis III has been deferred to mid-2027. NASA emphasized the necessity of ensuring the Orion spacecraft's complete readiness, with Administrator Bill Nelson noting that the delays once again underscore the challenges inherent within NASA's systems. Notwithstanding the successful completion of the 25-day Artemis I mission, Orion has disclosed considerable concerns regarding the integrity of its heat shield. Engineers dedicated several months to the rigorous investigation of the issue at hand. Deputy Administrator Pam Melroy recently revealed that during the Artemis I mission, the planned skip entry led to an accumulation of heat within the outer layer of the heat shield. This thermal buildup caused gases to become entrapped, resulting in heightened internal pressure that ultimately led to cracking and irregular detachment of the outer layer. Tackling this issue requires the replacement of the heat shield, a significant contributor to the delay of Artemis II. Engineers have implemented modifications to mitigate Orion's exposure to the temperatures that led to the complications with the heat shield. NASA officials remarked that the revised timeline for the Artemis II mission is shaped by the technical challenges that engineers are currently addressing, which include concerns related to an Orion battery and its environmental control or life support system. The heat shield was installed in June 2024, while a root cause investigation was conducted concurrently with other assembly and testing operations to optimize adherence to the schedule. Though these measures were designed to address current obstacles, they simultaneously highlighted the intricate nature of the Orion spacecraft. Anticipating the future, the revised timetable has now positioned Artemis II for 2026, Artemis III for 2027, and Artemis IV for 2028. Although remaining ahead of China's scheduled crewed lunar mission in 2030, these delays present significant risks, particularly in light of China's swift progress in the realm of space exploration. NASA's goal of maintaining a robust lunar space presence in the Strategic Space Interest, SIS, is critical for both scientific and geopolitical reasons. As Bill Nelson has asserted, we are giving the new administration a safe and reliable trajectory that includes returning to the moon, positioning ourselves ahead of China, securing our presence in the SIS lunar space, an issue of national importance beyond NASA, and paving the way from the moon to Mars. This delay marks the second significant schedule modification for Artemis in 2024, following a similar change earlier in the year. This recurring trend is disappointing for those looking to see the program succeed, especially given the vast financial and time resources being devoted. However, the delay may also represent the culmination of important decisions made under Bill Nelson's leadership. Nelson will soon step down as NASA Administrator, with Jared Isaacman poised to replace him. Isaacman's appointment could mark a transformative change for NASA. Renowned for his dynamic leadership and strong relationship with SpaceX, he is well equipped to address the complexities and inefficiencies inherent in NASA's current systems, such as Orion, the Space Launch System, SLS, 
and mobile launchers, which have faced significant criticism for their exorbitant costs and persistent delays. His extensive knowledge of SpaceX, a key collaborator on the Artemis program, can facilitate collaboration and accelerate progress. Given Starship's rapid progress, there is strong assurance that SpaceX will achieve the program's lofty goals, thereby positioning the United States favorably in its competition with China. The aspirations to return humanity to the moon and eventually venture to Mars continue? That's it for today's episode. See you in the next episode.